Hello there, Lion in a Box here, and I want to present you a program I recently created. The program is called GAS, which stands for General Animation Sprites Converter. And this program allows you to import sprite sheets, GIF animations, APNG animations, and image sequences of different formats, and very easily and quickly edit them and export them in different formats. This video is an overview of all the different features. To begin with, you need to import the source image. So for my first example, I'm going to import a sprite sheet. As soon as the sprite sheet is imported, I need to set the roles on the columns of the sprite sheet. So here you can see we have three frames in the horizontal line. So I type in three. And then we have four frames in the vertical line. So I type in four. And the separation lines of the individual frames are previewed directly. This way you know, know you don't make any mistakes. And now I could already export the sprite sheet either as an image sequence, as a GIF animation, or I could rearrange the sprite sheet in a vertical line or in a horizontal line and export it. Let's try that quickly. Now I open the output folder and you can see that all the sprites have been now arranged in a horizontal sprite sheet. And let's say I export it as a GIF animation. You can see that now a GIF animation has been created. Now let's try out the image sequence export. Just for fun, let's choose a different format. And as soon as you export the image sequence, a folder is automatically created, which includes all of the individual frames. If you want to export the images with your own custom names, you can do that by clicking the triple dots next to the export buttons. This will open a dialog, which will allow you to type in your custom names. However, you can do even more with the sprite sheet. You can modify it, you can rearrange it, and do a few more customizations to it. And to do so, first we need to crop the sprite sheet. As soon as the sprite sheet is cropped, the animation appears of the individual frames. Now you have different options available. For example, you can scroll through the frames by either clicking on the buttons, typing a specific value, or by pressing the left and right key on the keyboard. You can also reduce the frame amount if you want to cut off some frames from the end, either again by clicking on one of the buttons, typing in a value, or by pressing the up and down key on the keyboard. You can rearrange the sprite sheet however it pleases you. And if you do not want to include all the frames into the sprite sheet, you can simply untick the auto adjust option. And this way you have complete freedom on how to set up the sprite sheet exactly as you want. Now you also have these two buttons next to the total amount of frames option. And here's what those buttons do. Let me first make the sprite sheet a little bit bigger. And now you will see, if I click the button on the right side, all of the frames are included in the animation or in the sprite sheet even the transparent ones. And if I click the left button, only the imported frames will be included in the animation. Which is probably more useful most of the times. Now you also have an undo button next to the crop sprite sheet button. So let me import a different sprite sheet. And now I might make a mistake and crop the sprite sheet wrongly. And this way you wouldn't get the sprites cropped correctly, as you can see in the animation window. Then I can simply click the undo button, confirm, and correct the mistake I made. And you've probably already seen that you can set the frame rate below the animation export section. So if I want to animate the animation at 24 frames per second, I can simply select 24 in the list or I can manually type in any random value I want. Now I've shown you the example with the sprite sheet, but obviously you can also import GIF animations, PNG animations, and also image sequences of different types of formats. Here for example, 
I'm going to import this GIF animation. You can see that the GIF animation has already been split into its different frames and now I can rearrange the sprite sheet if I want to or I can edit it a little bit as I've shown you before just like the sprite sheet. I can set the frame rate I want and I can export it in any format I want. And the same goes for image sequences. So let me just open up the dialog. And now I'm selecting all the images and importing them. And as you can see, again, the images have been automatically arranged into a sprite sheet. And I can modify and export them at will. You also have a theme button in the top right corner. So you can switch either between a dark mode or a light mode. And this is an overview of all the features. Basically, you can very easily modify sprite sheets, create frame offsets, export them in one horizontal or vertical line and simply convert between different animation formats. That's all about the gas converter. If you think that would be useful for you and save you some time, you can buy it on my itch page, which is linked below in the description. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.